Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of Road to TTG Worlds 2016 where we are using Seismito Giratina and if you want to participate in the polls that decide which deck gets featured every week you should definitely check out my Twitter, I am trying to be more active there um, you will usually see me complain there about VGC or TCG <laughs> and also post interesting things and I post my videos and I post the weekly polls on Wednesdays so you should definitely check that out um, every week we seem to have even more voters and last week this deck was chosen so that's why I'm featuring it now we are looking for our first opponent of the day which hopefully we will find soon enough there we go we are up against a pure fire deck um, N64 boy with a Flarion deck bug so maybe it'll be a Flarion EX deck um, we do have the inherent advantage of Seismitoad being water type although our attacks don't do too much damage and I can never use Grenade Hammer because I don't run water energy and I don't even start Seismitoad so going second with Giratina is probably the worst thing ever because you cannot attack um, I definitely think this deck would benefit from some switches and we are actually up against a Typhlosion deck so that's gonna be a problem and he even uses Josh on turn one <laughs> so Typhlosion is a real threat it's honestly a very very real threat because of the fact that it can just one hit KO anything um, if you get enough energy off, off of the top of your deck now I did get a pretty ideal starting hand and okay no not Seismic of Shaman <laughs> Um, he could also like not have Lysander and things like that and we could deck him out so it's gonna be it's gonna play out very very interestingly now if I can't deny his energy that'd be great but I think Typhlosion's attack only takes one energy so probably not gonna be an issue for him uh, we still haven't used a supporter and I think we should wow delinquent um, I would love to prioritize um, getting that DCE, but it seems like I am out of luck today. Yesterday, I honestly had some pretty, pretty lucky, lucky couple of games where it seemed like every flip was gonna go in my favor. And now, puzzle of time. Hopefully, in the next two cards, there's a supporter. Otherwise, we are in for a rough ride here because we are stuck without too many things. I could also pick the super scoop up, hopefully flip heads and we use Shaman, but there's no guarantee of that. Um, does he, is his last card a rare candy? Are you that real? Nope, okay, it's a Kulava. So it might be a Typhlosion. If we somehow manage to get a double dragon energy, we should be able to KO the Kulava. So it's gonna come down to, can we get a supporter? We can. So we don't have to rely on Super Scoop Up. And I cannot use any other support in my hand, nor the Versus Seeker. So if we get a double Dragon Energy, which we do not, um, we actually get all of our hammers. And we flip heads on the second one. So I'm gonna play the Trainer's Mail. I mean, I still have a chance at getting the, the double dragon energy because of the super scoop up I could potentially reuse shaman which I cannot so I'm gonna have to use ultra ball get rid of the Zerosic and the hex maniac because I don't think they will be useful for us this time around there's our second shaman so four more cards in order to potentially get the double dragon energy Will we able? Will we be able to get it? Um, odds are not in our favor. It's one out of ten cards, but I actually do get it. So that will finish game one for us. There's the victory. So my opponent realizes he's out of luck. Um, we definitely played for this scenario. We got lucky off of the trainer's mail for the sycamore. We got lucky off of that shaman to get the double dragon energy, and that's a really fast. That's the fastest game of the week so far. Um, which is really weird because we seem to be like none of our games have been standard at all we have faced a lot of item lock train uh, item locking decks so far during the week 
and some very very intense matches definitely and i guess besides the lotion so far the previous four games have definitely showcased this deck against more standard meta game decks such as we faced a seismic toad sloking deck we faced not without Giratina, so different from ours we faced a Valplum Vespiquin deck, which we surprisingly beat. And we faced a Trevenant deck, which we seem to be up against once again. Guess Poke Collector 89. I lose the coin flip, so he might item lock us from turn 1. He does choose to go first, so... If it is Trevenant and he gets the Wallys, um, we will be in a lot of trouble. It is Wallys, it is Trevenant. Um... That starting hand was definitely not great. And once again, we're gonna mulligan. Unfortunately, this hand I would not have minded for sure. Now we have to be we have to be cautious with our bench. Definitely have to be cautious with our bench because Trevenant's break is too real. And we start Giratina, which is not great. And we don't have any draw supporter either. So, <laughs> not liking my odds of this game so far. Definitely not liking my odds. Um, he gets the Wally right off the bat. Um, doesn't punish us too much because we don't really have anything. And we can delay whatever he wants to do through Delinquent, through Pokemon Center Lady, and through Team Flare Grunt. But I'm sure he has energy denial of his own. So things are not looking great for us. Things are definitely not looking great for us. Four supporters. Okay, he discards as a Rosic right away, which means he might have a Verseeker, but he will have access to the Rosic, which is obviously not good. He goes for a Shaman. And yeah, I think. We're gonna get benched out, unless we somehow manage to top deck something really, really sick. Um, I think my best play here... Okay, I'm gonna attach the energy because there's really no no reason not to. Now the question is, I'm not gonna Cassius. Do I remove his energy? Or do I delinquent? I'm gonna remove the energy first off. And I'm gonna pass. Not much I can do there. But next turn, I can potentially delinquent him away. He attaches the energy. He already has a turn and break. It's only gonna do 30 damage, so it's not the end of the world. He might go for another Shaman right now. Nope, he goes for a Trevenant. And he's gonna evolve. So he probably has a Sycamore or something. As his last card in hand, it is a Sycamore. So definitely jealous. <laughs> Of his setup. I wish I had a setup as good as his. To make it more of a game. But alas, I do not. Best I can do is try and stall him out a little bit. Um, I will be able to discard his stadium with delinquents. He's only going to do 30 damage, which is nothing to write home about. We can still top the got double try and energy. Which we do not, but we can play the delinquent right now. Um, maybe it would have been better to wait until he had a smaller hand size. But there's really not much else I can do, honestly. And I get rid of his stadium, which is obviously good. But comparing the deck size, you can see how far behind we are. I need to top deck a Sycamore or at least a double dragon energy. Like, if I had a double dragon energy to put pressure on him, I might have won by now. But... Things are not looking too good. He has a second energy, he has a Verseeker. He might use it for Zerosic. Yeah. So the double dragon energy is no longer an option. Definitely no longer an option. And he has a Shaman for a full free setup. Wow. So, like, my opponent can literally ask for nothing more. He has had the best, absolute best possible hands out of everything. Okay, top deck another DC. I'm gonna attach it. 
and I'm gonna pass the turn. The Bursting Balloon ends up being useless for him. Um, if you're gonna remove the energy, why would you even attach it? I do not understand that play, but that's up to my opponent. He now has enough energy for uh, Tree Slam, so he's gonna use Erosic once more. Remove my energy. I will be able to survive another turn thanks to Pokemon Center Lady, but that's gonna be the last one. If I don't top deck something right here, right now, I am done. I am literally done. <laughs> and I top deck the double dragon energy. So I'm gonna heal up. It's unfortunate that he had to back to back the Rosix when, when I finally top decked energy, whereas. My Giratina from turn one didn't get his energy removed like right away. He attaches a bursting balloon. He doesn't remove my energy, so if I attack, I KO myself. But unless I top deck, I do not top deck. So I'm gonna play the Cassius and I am going to lose the game, unfortunately. Nothing I could have done there. Um, that's two really quick games <laughs> for today. <laughs> so let's find another game and that actually makes it so that we are this is video number 100 actually i should be hyped about that this is video number 100 of road to tcg worlds 2016. some of you guys have endured me for a hundred videos i have spent countless hours speaking to myself in order to produce those 100 videos and that's not counting all the other series you know, all the other Spanish and VGC videos. <laughs> so that's a lot of time invested. I hope, um, and I mean, it is a lot of time invested, but it's something I really enjoy. So I would do a hundred more and I will do a hundred more in a heartbeat, like without even thinking about it. So thank you guys for the support for a hundred games, for a hundred videos rather. And here to a hundred more. Um, yeah, if you think about it, each video containing a minimum of two games, that's over 200 games played because some of them have three, uh, not 300, have three games. So that means, and so far since the start of the channel in September, I've played over 200 games of the TCG, apart from all the real life testing and the real life tournaments. So that's a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> that's usually a lot of Pokemon. But yeah, unfortunately, I really wanted this week, the 100 video week, to be the perfect week. But Trevenant made it so that it wasn't going to happen. So my opponent just decides to concede out of the blue. So it's actually going to be a four game video. And yeah, no matter what happens in this, in this next game, I'm, I'm going to end the video after that game because... Um, this is getting a bit annoying. I'm gonna turn on my fan because it's really hot here. Hopefully you guys uh, cannot hear it in the background. But it's getting really hot in here. Um, spring has started. Um, it's now looking like spring in Mexico. There is sun, whereas this winter was a really, really cold winter. And my house is either too hot or too cold. There's no in between. So, let's see what we got here. A fire deck. Probably Entei. According to the game, we have the advantage. He's gonna call the flip. Um, I think we are better off going second. In order to prevent him from like attacking us too hard on turn 1. And potentially KOing us. Okay. So, my opponent didn't get a basic. I start off with Giratina, which is, once again, not the ideal card to start off with. Especially against an Entei deck. I would love to get the turn 1 lock. And because I did start Giratina, seems like... It's gonna be... It's gonna be hard to get that turn 1 attacking Seismitoad. I actually see a Flare yet. Okay. Flare is cute. Um, seems to be popular, I guess. Not the best card in my opinion, but that's not up to me to decide. And it's actually a camera up Flareon deck. 
to finish off video 100. Now, I think the first video of the week would have been a lot better to showcase as video 100, but what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna attach, I'm going to play the Headringer onto the Flarion, preventing him from probably attacking next turn. Touch the Fighting Fury belt, I'm gonna play my Trainer's Mails, see what I can get, and now I'm not too afraid of the... Uh, of the Flarion. If it had been a standard empty deck, I would be... I would be really scared if he had gotten like all of the um, all of the tools and blacksmith and everything like that but he doesn't which is obviously great um, I will be able to get my like there's no more uh, super pressing need in order to get seismitoad right off the bat and I'm just gonna pass here I don't want to see come away my two double colorless energy, especially not with a puzzle of time in my hand. Um, if he has some sort of stadium, I'd rather keep my my own stadium in order to to prevent him from getting any benefits. I mean, I don't gain anything by playing it this turn instead of the next. He now has camera He has the. Lente that does damage based, based on my bench, so I have to be wary about that. But I have the DCE, I'm gonna be able to do it KO the Flarion. Um, he's not even gonna be able to attack me this turn. So potentially he will only be able to attack me once. He gets an energy switch, which with flash fire um, doesn't seem too useful. Seems a bit redundant, but I guess it is only once, so if you manage to do like two camera ups and ability plus energy attachment plus blacksmith plus energy switch, I mean you could surprise your opponent with a ton of damage. You really could, and now that Entei might be a problem, but as long as I keep my bench low, it shouldn't be. And wait, what? He doesn't realize about Headringer. Or I mean, it's fine that he uses it, I guess. I don't think he's gonna have a way to, to get rid of that. He's actually running Max Potions. And there's three Burst Seekers in his discard pile, so... I'm feeling very confident, honestly. I'm feeling very, very confident. Um, despite Seismitoad being Water-type, Giratina EX, even without the weakness, does more damage than my own Seismitoad. There's another Flarion, the non full art one. <laughs> Such a cute card. And there's my DCE. I don't have any supporters in my discard pile. So, I'm going to play the Ultra Ball. I'm going to discard the Sycamore. And the Puzzle of Time. I am going to get the Seismitoad, but I'm not going to Sycamore just yet. Just going to bench the Seismitoad. I'm going to counter Stadium in order to prevent him from drawing any extra useful cards and I'm just gonna Chaos Wheel here no special energy cards, which I don't think he runs any no stadiums and no Pokemon tool cards and he can definitely um, KO or rather do damage to my Giratina but he's not gonna be able to KO, that's for sure there is no way he KOs my Giratina this time around. Now ideally, I would get Super Scoop Ups and flip heads and recover Giratina and then promote Seismitoad and get a KO that way. That's 5 energy plus the 50 damage, that's 150, plus the 2 from, from Blacksmith, that's 190 damage. But, unluckily for my opponent, I do have 210 HP. So, he makes a smart move, actually powers up the Benched Flareon EX, and deals 150 damage. So, like I said, Super Scoop Ups would be amazing right now. They really would be. I have not played a supporter yet. So, I'm gonna go for the Sycamore. And I do have the follow-up Seismitoad, but Seismitoad is gonna 3-hit KO uh, Flareon EXs, which is obviously not great. Um, I do get one super scoop up, so can I get lucky once again? 
Can I seriously get this lucky? I can. Wow. So this week I am getting very lucky with the with the head flips. Honestly, I am getting very lucky, like unusually lucky. Um, I'm gonna be able to deny item cards. I'm gonna take two prices off of this Flarian. And I think this is like the most aggressive game I've had in, <laughs> in the whole week. Um, he promotes the Flarian. He will need another basic fire to do 120 damage. Because he can move one, so he can attach one from his hand. So he will be able to 2 it KO the Seismic Toad. But then Giratina comes back up and KOs the Flarian. So after that, he doesn't have anything really. And as long as I can potentially Lysander the Shaman, I should be good. Um, once again, he's not going to be able to get a Flurion, or rather Seismitoad, even with the 6 energy. That's 170 damage. So I think those would have been better off onto the Entei, potentially. <laughs> now I have a ton of energy in my hand. I'm going to play the Delinquent to get rid of both of his cards in his hand. Um, there's no harm in doing that, honestly. The issue here is I'm gonna have to Sycamore probably next turn. It was an energy and an energy switch. So that's obviously good because if he top decked a Lysander and he KO'd my Giratina, then Seismitoad would not have been able to KO Flurion EX. Now the original list for this deck had Muscle Bat instead of Fighting Fury Belt. But I really, really like the extra HP. Not the extra HP, the extra... The extra... Yeah, the extra HP, what am I saying? The extra HP from Fighting Fury Belt... I don't know, it hasn't really come into play so much. I think it did come into play the previous turn. When he didn't use Giratina, when he wasn't able to give Giratina. But other than that... I don't know, I think... The, it hasn't come into play just yet, but I do think it is better, you know? I do think it is better. Now, my play 100% right now is to attach an energy to Giratina, play my Stadium, and, well, it's actually either Delinquent and get rid of his hand, or I can Seacomer here, hopefully get the Lysander so that I can KO... Shaman next turn. Um, I do not get it and I don't get too much actually. Um, I'm gonna get rid of one of his fire energy from his benched Entei. I'm gonna try and get that Lysander. Hopefully it's in, in the deck even. Um, I'm gonna keep the Crushing Hammer in order to try and remove the energy once more from that Entei. But okay, I flip tails. Okay. I'm gonna use Super Scoop Up, because if I flip Tails, I'm gonna go for Shaman now. Um, do I get rid of the DDE? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the Double Dragon Energy. Because I can play down the... Oh crap, there's no Shaman. Uh oh, uh oh... Okay. <laughs> I think I'm in a little bit of trouble. Well, not in a little bit of trouble, but... We're not in the greatest of positions here. Because we're not... Okay, I free up the shame. That makes it better. I mean, I, I really just want to Lysander and KO the shame in the X to finish off the game. He actually gets a Sycamore. So it was either from of his prizes or a top deck. He cannot play Stadium's energy, Special Energy or... Um, tools. But that's not really restricting him at all. Plays down two Max Elixir, which don't fetch him anything. He's gonna burn in draft. Probably have the energy switch. Probably have the energy switch. No, he actually just has the energy. But he's gonna do 40 damage. So that's nothing really too impressive, you know? He gets a Sycamore from his discard pile. He's down to 11 cards, so he might actually get um, benched out. Now. This is interesting because I can either Shaman to try and get the the Lysander or I can Sycamore right away. I mean, do I really need the Lysander this turn? 
I'm gonna bench Seismitoad. Because if I play down two basic Pokemon, then he deals 90 damage next turn. Right now he's dealing 70, so 70 plus 50, 120, plus 70, 190. So yeah, he's not gonna, he's still gonna take two more hits to KO, three more hits rather. So, I still don't have that. I want the Lysander. How do I get the Lysander? Is it even in the deck? That's the question. Um, I'm just gonna attack here. I know I have not attached energy yet. Thank you, Sack. 110 damage. Entei is about to get KO'd. See, I can puzzle of time and get back to Trainer's Mail to try and get the Lysander out of the 12 card deck, which would be a 33% chance, I guess. I could also get back Shaman and one Trainer's Mail. That could also work. Huh. But he has no threat, honestly. Uh, like, there's no reason for me to do this. I think he's gonna stick over and take himself out. Honestly. I really think that's what he's going to do because there's no way he KOs four Pokemon, you know? There's absolutely no way he KOs four Pokemon at this point. Or I don't think so, at least. There's no way he's gonna be able to power up another Flurian. Like, to put enough pressure on me. I don't think he will. Okay, he likes Anders, but I have the rough seat or the escape rope rather. Okay, so if I escape rope, he's obviously gonna promote camera up. I get us a Rosic. Okay, I'm gonna do the puzzle of time play for a DCE. Or do I just, yeah, I'm just gonna take the KO. What am I thinking? There's no need for me to go for the super aggro um, super aggro Lysander play. If it's there, it's there, but it's not a big deal if it's not. Um, I get to KO Entei, which is obviously, obviously great. I can even bench Slowpoke, and I have the escape rope, so I'm fine here. I'm gonna play the, the Zero Sig. I would have loved for Entei to have 110 HP instead, but I'm just gonna Quake in Punch. I'm just using it because I can. There's really no harm in not using it. And now I am down to one price, which is a Hex Maniac. And with the escape rope, I can KO either Camera or Shaman. Doesn't really matter which. I can free retreat this, or not free retreat, I can bench the Seismitoad, promote Giratina, and get a KO that way. Even if he's a Rosix and energy away, I can. I have the double dragon energy in order to prevent anything weird from happening. So, yeah. I was so focused on the Lysander, but I have so like I have such a huge advantage at this point that it doesn't really matter at all, honestly, at all. So yeah, I think I really think this is gonna be the game. Once my opponent decides to do something, come on. Okay, yeah, he's Sycamore, so he knows he's dead. He knows he's dead. Not dead, but he knows he's out of options. At most, he's gonna do 60 damage and pass an energy to Shaman. He's actually gonna owe me a prize card. Because I will take two and I only have one remaining. And there's a Chaos Wheel for 110 damage, just enough to get the KO and finish off the game. So today featured three wins and one loss for our, <laughs> for our 100th video, but... Um, the loss definitely counts, so it's not going to be a perfect week, unfortunately. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you are enjoying this deck and this series. And don't forget to check out bitcultures.com uh, so that you can either subscribe or that uh, all the videos in English get published there if you want to follow the VGC sections as well. And you can read up on news and reviews and everything in all things related to video games. So that's it from me guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow in Spanish or on Friday in English. All right. Bye.